Howdy, folks. Well, as it turns out, people have rediscovered gardening, or at least rediscovered the idea of gardening. And so I thought, well, maybe today would be a good time to read a passage from the book Truck, a love story. This is the hardcover. It's available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook as well. I have a whole section in there. Well, that whole book is set up. It's, it's a truck book, but it's also a gardening book. It's about a year in the life of my garden. Life is a funny word when it comes to me and gardening, because not all of my stuff maintains its life in the garden. Anyway, this is from back in my bachelor days. In part to mitigate the barren state of the earth, I have decided to order seeds for my garden. I possess the perfect armchair for the task, a saggy old green thing that came from my grandmother's basement and now sits on a rug beside my homemade bookshelves. Sinking into the worn cushions, I spend the remainder of the afternoon leafing through seed catalogs and recharging my chamomile tea. It is as if a sun lamp has been turned toward my soul. My winter-bound spirit thaws, releasing sense memories, the shink-shink sound of a hoe cleaving sandy soil, the press of a hard seed between the pad of thumb and forefinger, the scratchy hiss of squash leaves moving in a warm breeze. I am this close to writing a poem. Seed catalogs are responsible for more unfulfilled fantasies than Enron and Playboy combined. Blissful though it is, the annual seed catalog review adds up to a perennial tradition of willful delusion. It begins responsibly enough, scientific approach and rigorous intent, as, for example, in the selection of beets. Notepad at hand, I calculate the harvest date of 53-day red aces as opposed to 60-day cylindras, factor in the hybrid vigor of the red ace, take into account the sliceability of the cylindra, cross-reference all results with the applicable hardiness zone, jot my selection in neat pre-ruled columns, including item name, associated catalog number, and miscellaneous starred comments and then move briskly on to a hard-eyed evaluation of kale. I am in essence a minor god, with plans for my few square feet of the earth. I shall sow and I shall reap. I am a catalyst in the cycle of life. I'm also distracted by all the pretty pictures. The seed catalog is printed on paper of the same texture as your gaudier supermarket tabloids, a stock perfectly suited for oversaturated photos of royal burgundy purple pod bush beans, overfluffed sheaves of Savoy spinach, and lurid tomato shots. With every fruity globe so taut and flawless, it might have been snatched from the chest of a prefab starlet. Carrots are arranged in arresting bolts of orange. A neon splay of bright light Swiss chard vibrates like a beer sign in a health food store. Purpling stems of beet green plunge into the dusty lavender crown of the stout root, sliced open in one photograph to reveal a glistening fine-grained core the color of deoxygenated blood. The play of sun and shadow on a grape-like cluster of sweet millions miniature tomatoes is so mustily conveyed that your parotids clench at the thought of the skin popping under the pressure of your molars and the subsequent sweet gush of pulp. A pair of bellboy peppers reflect the light with such a blue tinge that it suggests the exact feel of the cool green lobes against your palm, and I am drawn straight into summer. It is as if the catalog ink is spiked with chlorophyll. Rigorous intent begins to fray. Never shop for groceries on an empty stomach, they say. Corollary riff. Never order seeds when the world is frozen stiff and leafless. <laughs> so that's from uh, each chapter that book represents, as I said, a month in the year of the life of my garden, and that's from the January chapter, because that's my favorite gardening month of the year in Wisconsin. You sit down with those seed catalogs, and your hopes are high, and reality has yet to intrude. And I go on in there about how you order all these different things, and uh, they're never, uh, half of them are never even going to hit the dirt, let alone come to fruition. So, 
Anyway, lots of new gardeners out there and lots of seasoned gardeners out there. Good luck to every single one of you. Forward.